three of our annual How to Manage Small Law Firm Policies and Procedures administrative retreat down here in the Florida Keys. We don't always go to the Florida Keys, but we always go somewhere nice because you've got to get out of your routine. you got to get out of the office. There's no, I mean, we're checking email periodically throughout the day. We're dealing with things periodically throughout the day, but we're out of our regular routine. We're out of our regular environment. And that's how you get this shit done. Not sitting in your office where you sit around all day long with a million distractions. It's not that you don't know the importance of policy. You know what the importance of policies are. You know what procedures are. You know why the procedures are important. You even know what the procedures are that you need. And you understand that policies go together with procedures to create systems and the systems run your firm and that gives you your freedom and that's how you have a business instead of a practice. You know all this stuff. Why haven't you done it yet? The answer is... Because it's hard as shit to do it on your own, that's why. That's why we get out of the office. That's why we invested in flying Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Hi. <laughs> That's why we invested in flying Kristen in from across the country to captain this. Because not only do you need to get out of your environment, but in all seriousness, you got to get someone who's objective from the outside looking in to keep you on task, to keep the agenda. The policies and procedures crews that we're doing in November, I'm doing this because you guys asked me to do this. <laughs> because at the, at the end of the last, po first of all, though, I did the first policies and procedures program in North Carolina because a bunch of people asked me for help. And we did it, and it was a huge success. And we created a self-study program that we sell for $2,000 to ship it all over the world. And we've only ever gotten one return in the whole time we've been selling that since last year. And I decided to do the second one because everyone was saying, when are you going to do another policies and procedures workshop? I got so much done in such a short amount of time. And my firm has got has grown by leaps and bounds in, in just in just a short time since then. And so I decided if I'm gonna do another one, I'm doing it on a cruise ship because it's beautiful down here. Yeah, I mean why wouldn't you <laughs> want to do it on a cruise ship? So look, you know, you're thinking, oh well, you know, you don't have the time. Thing is, you don't have the time not to get this stuff done. You're thinking, oh well, four thousand dollars. What the fuck? I mean honestly, four thousand dollars. What's that? Half of one new client, one new client. One new client, $4,000 for you to be able to go and spend more time with your kids, more time with your family, more time doing marketing, more time doing sales, more time working on your business instead of in your business. And, I mean, you know me, so you don't even know to, you don't even need to hear this, but I'm saying this anyway. At the end of the first day of the three-day policies and procedures program we're doing in November on the cruise ship, you come to me and you say, Archon, look, in all fairness, this is not what I want. This is crap. I don't want to do this. Boom, we'll give you the $4,000 back. Okay, so you're stuck with us on the cruise ship for another five days. Okay, <laughs> admittedly, that could be a little bit awkward. But, you know, we're all friends. We'll have a good time. You can still go on those shore excursions with us and still have dinners with us. We're, you know, you know me and Kristen. We're here to have a good time. And in all seriousness, you know, it's not like we're going to be able to stop ourselves from teaching you and helping you with a whole bunch of other things as bonuses. Anyway. All right, don't get adrift. We are, Once again, we, sign up for the Policies we, and Procedures Cruise. And right now, just so you know, we are swimming back to the boat. <laughs> we're getting back in the boat. We're going back to the house. And we are going to work on our... Policies and Procedures. Specifically. Calendaring and filing and, and email. marketing and email. Right, we're working on our email procedures. Because our emails are getting out of control because our firm keeps growing. Our members keep growing. Our staff keeps growing. And this is what goes on. As your firm grows, you outgrow the policies and procedures you already have. If you you're not, have to craft them if you're not outgrowing them, something's wrong. <laughs> okay. All right. How to manage a small law firm.com, policies and procedures part two. Go there.